It's time for story time. 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 Are you ready for today's story? Great. I don't know if you're ready. Smelly Socks. You read the title with me. Smelly Socks. <laughs> This story is by Robert Munch, and it's illustrated by Michael Marchenko. It's a paperback book. This is the cover. This is the back. And if you look, there's many stories with this character in it. And here is the spine. All right, let's see what's shaking in this book. There's the title again. Do you remember it? Smelly. Socks starts with the letter S. Here's an S. Here's an S. And here's an S. Title again, Smelly Socks. Here's the author, Mr. Robert. And here's the illustrator, the person who made the pictures, Michael. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there is no bridge here, said Tina's mom. You know it is a long, long, long way to the only bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. Hmm. They only sell black socks. She doesn't want black. So... Tina went to her grandfather and said, Can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina. We can row. I will row and you can sit in the back on the, of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. She's determined. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Swish, swish, swish. Tina rowed fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. Hmm. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through the town to the big sock store. Do you see the big sock store? There it is. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on a millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found a perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for din dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and still got to the other side. Look at all those socks. There's even a person stuck underneath of them, but there are the fancy ones she picked out. There's the yellow, the green, and the red. And look, there's a pattern. Red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, Socks! Socks! Wonderful socks! These are the best socks I have ever seen in my life! Grandpa rode me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said her mother. 
Wonder why mom said, uh-oh. So, Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for ten more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell! Change your socks! Socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. Look, they're starting to own their nose. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, that's 10, 20, 30 days, a whole flock of Canadian geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. No one can stand the smell. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on her door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. Then they had their no held their noses and took her socks off. Some of the kids held Tina, and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated up to the top ah! and acted like they were dead. The fish can't even deal with the funk. Look, he's even got on a mask like we're wearing now to get away from all the germs. The kids wash some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. They wash some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Do you know why the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina, they look nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina, they smell nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina, they feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. Look, everyone is happy that she loves clean socks. She loves the way they look. She loves the way they smell. She loves the way they feel. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back into the river. The Canadian geese got up off the ground and flew away. The fish decided that they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean and I think I would be very nice. It would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a new, nice, nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mother. <laughs> no, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. So, did she get her shirt? It doesn't look very clean, does it? And look whose hands do you think these are? And where do you think they're going? 
Oh, no, Tina. You are in trouble, girl. <laughs> she is silly, isn't she? It was nice to meet the character Tina from the book. And like I said, there are other books that Tina is in as well. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have an opportunity to read another one together that has Tina in it and laugh some more. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song? All right. Count to three. One, two, three. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Hasta luego, hasta mañana, hasta la vista, mis amigos, adios, mis amigos, adios. We love you. We will see you later. Mwah! You. <laughs> Ciao, Bella.